Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is wet hair day on the day by day farm. If you don't know, I had a shower. Why is your hair so dry? I had a shower and mine's so wet. <laughs> yeah, wait, it was shower day on the day by day farm. Yeah, it is raining Daddy outside. Oh my gosh, are you actually leaving without her? Yeah. So essentially, it's pouring rain outside today and Sophie and I took the opportunity to have a shower this morning. Usually we shower at night because well, we're so I was busy. I have one last night, but everyone was going to bed and I didn't yeah. have a shower. So I'm like, you know, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Sometimes you got to shower in the morning. And then uh, we have running around to do. So I wasn't able to dry my hair completely. So I have wet hair. Sam has wet hair because he was out working in the rain. Tell them, Sam. Tell them what happened. All the horses, with all their wisdom, they decided to go in a small shelter instead of the big barn. <laughs> So they're all crammed in the little tiny shelter. And Literally the second time they've ever used the shelter. Yeah, and they're all crammed in the little shelter because Chino loves shelters, so he goes in it all the time. So they all followed him, and then all hell broke loose. A lot of squealing. So I said, Gabby, get down here at the barn right now. You gotta take Chino in so that they could all follow, and they all follow, but they all didn't go in, so. Who didn't go in? The only Gino went in because he was let in. The other ones didn't follow. Yeah. They were like, screw you all! We're staying in the grass! And then I went to try and get great um, Penny and she just kept going up the hill and farther away. <laughs> That's my girl! <laughs> Anyways, it's true. You guys know, you might know, that yesterday we opened up a whole new field for the horses to go out and eat grass. It's their fall field. And they love it. They all go out there together. Well, then it started raining. Left the gate open so that they can run into the arena or go into the shelter. They all decided to go into the little shelter, which they never use. And Penny's in heat, and there was squealing and arguing and fighting in a tiny little, well, not fighting, but there was squealing in a tiny little arena, and Sam had to wrestle them all himself. Did Gabby come down? No, I wrestled them all. Oh, Gabby wrestled them all. What was I thinking? <laughs> It's always Gabby. It's always Gabby who runs to the rescue. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're headed out at this early 11.52 to do some shopping, do some Sunday shopping before school because we are back to school. And we'll see you guys when we get back from Costco. Wait, Sam, we need an update. Did you buy a truck? <laughs> I bought a truck. You bought a truck? On the condition that a bunch of things get done. So he wanted it to be so a little bit I different. Have a special truck coming, and it has to be fixed up the standard I want, at least, <laughs> and everything done that I want to it. So he has like two weeks to get it done before I get the truck. All right, all right. I believe, I believe you guys, because not that long ago, Sophie dreamed that Sam bought a truck and it was a big white one and that eventually he buys a black one too and then we end up with two trucks, a black one and a white one. I believe in dreams. I believe in dreams and here we are. Sam just potentially bought a white truck. Two weeks and we may be in business, you guys. Back to trails. We did not grow a garden this year because I just had too many other things on the go, but Sam planted some cherry tomato plants that we've been eating and picking and they're not all completely ripe yet. So every time we walk down to the barn, I stop and pick myself some cherry tomatoes. Oh, what's happening? My lady's gone out. I have to brush her. Oh, you have to brush her? Yeah, I'm laundry. Oh, Sophie is wanting to line drive her today. Some of you guys know that in the past, Sophie has taught Will line driving. She took a long time to teach her that. Where's your line driving stuff? Huh? Where is your line driving stuff? Somewhere. Somewhere in there. Is it in a bucket? That's my guess. I don't believe her to the helper anymore, so... Which reins do you use? You can use mine that have um, clips. The really, really long ones that are for line driving. Oh. This is why I hate putting things in buckets. When we first moved to this farm, someone said never put stuff in buckets because you forget about it. No. And it gets ruined and... What about these? No. Oh, that. No. Oh. That's it. 
You have to go in a box. You can take your phone and then stack another box on top of it. Okay, now we're going to see who can fit in a box. Get over here, Gabby. Can you fit in one of these boxes? Oh, yeah, we're going to see. Gabby says that for hide and seek, you could hide in a box. Go for it, Gabby. I said that would be a they good were spot to hide. With your phone. I, I can hide in a box. See? I can't. Ah, get in there. <laughs> All right, so I guess there will be no hiding in boxes. You could sit in a box for sure. I definitely put me can. in the back of a storage room. <laughs> yeah. And then you could jump out and say, Roar! or boo. <laughs> There's a radio. Fall yes. this way. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. So uh, we cannot hide in boxes. But do you know what you does put hide it in over boxes? Top of you. you put All right. It let's see it, Gabby. Get down there. Come on. Get down there. I'll put it over top of you. Come on. Go. Sit down. Gabby with all the good ideas. Gabby with all the good ideas. Oh. All right. So. Ah, no, we need bigger boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Almost. Oh, there we go. We can't even see you, Gabby. <laughs> Molly, find Gabby. Where's Gabby? Where is she? Where is she? Oh no. <laughs> my are Sounds like it's not going well in there. Oh no, my earbuds. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Gabby in a box. Three, oh, two, one. Jump up. Jack in the box. <laughs> That's Gabby in the box. Okay. There we go. We found it. I knew I didn't put it in a box. She did find the extra one of these, though. Where's the extra one rain What did, Were they the Western Rains, or did they come with that? It came with box. this. Oh. They're really, really long and annoying. Okay. Well, let's see. We have another box. We jumped out all the boxes already. Why not just dump them all? Oh, Got it. that was fast. One. Oh, you need more than one? Yeah, Mom, we need two. Oh. Here's the infamous chain that Gabby was trained, and my girls were trained to use that yeah, instead of a rope halter. All right, Mom. Found who it. knows who's, whose halter this is? Oh, I just got a bruise on my leg. Stella. Gabby is still thinking about hiding spots. Gabby, why don't we get the grandkids for the weekend soon, and we'll play hide and go seek in the barn. I suck at hide and go seek. Oh, I love it. That's a plan. I have no good spots to hide in, but I could go in the hayloft and hide in the hayloft. Oh, yeah. Jump through like yeah. Superman. Yeah. So this is how how we look at boys when they're in the other when they're in the barn. We stand like this, Thanks. stick our head over the bar, over the wall, and we watch everything that happens. What's happening in there, Gracie? What do you see? You see your, your friend Willow? Maybe your owner should, should teach you to line drive. Two summers ago, Sophie was really into line driving Willow and they got really far. They got to the point where Willow was able to drag a small tiny tire behind her while Sophie was line driving her. She loved doing it, but then things got busy, things happened, and Sophie kind of forgot about it. She got out of the habit of doing it. She used to do it all the time. And I saw a comment today that said, like, you should this be doing some. Rope, it's not too big. You should be doing some more physical work with Willow and not just playing and doing tricks. And Willow is our most lunged horse. Sophie does a lot of poles with her, a lot of pole work, and she does a lot of lunging with her. She lunges her almost every single time she works with her. And so Sophie's lunging her first before she practices line driving her. And she does do all the different gates in a lunge. She's like, really, do I have to do it? Do I have to do it? <laughs> Penny's like, I do not like the sound of this.
Thank you, Penny. Thank you for standing right directly in the middle of the view so that I can't film <laughs> Willow being lunged. Do what you want to. Please don't be polite because I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew because all that is stuck in my head. I think Willow still remembers the basics, but she needs... She doesn't remember how to turn so much and so he's just going to have to work with her again. And it's something that they can do throughout the fall. But as soon as Sophie teaches her to line drive, we're going to, like, as soon as Sophie teaches her how to pull, we're definitely going to get a cart. Like, that's something that we've always wanted to do. And even Sophie might actually end up getting a little bit of help with it from a friend that drives minis. But Gracie's hair looks like mine. This is what happens to my hair when I go out in the, in the humidity. But it's funny because her her forelock is curly and then the rest of her mane is straight. It's me, yo. Both speed and my heart is pacing, but I'm not sure I wanna pace it because it only does this with you. Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension. Move us into the next dimension. Let's just let our bodies be true. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. season and I hate mud season and even when you have like good drainage ditches and stuff you still get mud Chino loves that field he loves being out there all right we've made a huge mess in here with all the stuff we dumped the buckets we've dumped but uh, a girl recently on TikTok said like hey do you have more saddle pads than this other girl this other girl did a TikTok with all the saddle pads she had so I feel challenged to do a saddle pad video so it's going to be the battle of the saddle pads. This is the newest one. Who knows where we got this one and who it belongs to? Uh, as a question, you will know because it was in a recent video. But anyway, this is it. These are our saddle pads. These are not all of our saddle pads because we have about 10 maybe at the barn. And we have a couple in the back of our truck. Six saddle pads in our Gabby has six saddle pads in her locker. I have a saddle pad over there too. We're gonna see who has the most saddle pads. Sophie also has a pile of saddle pads at her, at the other barn. And I was gonna shoot the video today, do the battle of the saddle pads. But like I said, most of the, some of them are at the other barn. How, how many saddle pads do you? Huh? Do you have a white one there? Do you think you have at least six there? Sophie has at least four there. At least four there? Do you think you have more saddle pads than Gabby? No, because she just got a new one. Oh. She has like four, five, maybe five. At the barn? Yeah. All right. So anyway, we are going to make a video. We're going to go to the barn tomorrow and get all of our saddle pads, bring them home. And we're going to show, we're going to make a fun video out of our saddle pads. If you can't do this with a saddle pad, it's mine. All right, take it. And this. Yeah, those aren't technically saddle pads. Those are half pads. Therapeutic things that we've bought in the past. Don't you know that you're beautiful?